right? That was the energetic one. So does everybody kind of understand where this, these toxicities come from and, and how? Now, how do they cause disease? Any of these toxicities, they increase oxidative damage, oxidative stress. What is oxidative stress? Can anybody tell me what, uh, what uh, do we have any? Uh, I probably don't have any. I think we may, may need to put up some slides on that to just explain oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is an atom. Well, how many people have heard of antioxidants? Okay, how many people have heard of free radicals? So can, can one of you guys give me a description of what a free radical is? How about you, why don't you give me a... It's just loose hanging out there. What's loose? of our metabolism. Byproduct of our metabolism, okay. So give me, give me a graphical illustration or give me an image that I can put in my head so I really understand what oxidation is. You hear doctors and non-doctors and health practitioners and health food stores and on the internet, everybody's talking about oxidative stress and antioxidants and free radical damage, but 99.9% .9 of people have no clue what that means. So I want you to tell me something so that now I understand, oh, I got it, I understand what this is. Just tell me something that without a shadow of a doubt, your life depends on explaining this to somebody. And so you have to tell me, what does this mean? What does it mean? What is free radical damage? Okay. Um, your body is um, made up of chemical chains that have elements, I don't know if molecules or atomic particles, or what, but they're, these are complete chains. And at some point, when your body undergoes oxidative stress, there is an imbalance in the chemistry that causes the chain to become incomplete. It will attempt to complete itself by drawing from other parts of your body in an unhealthy way. Um, it's, it's like a whole is created, and it tries to complete the whole by taking from other things. It's, there's some components to what you said are true, and what you said back there, too, is true, but would you say that you would hang your hat in that definition? <laughs> it, it was technical. But it was technical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so here, we just got this pulled up, and I'm going to explain this in a second, but let me, let me try to help you guys out. So, because one of my goals is that when I, if I never see you guys again, ever again, that I've made a difference in your life, and I'm going to tell you because of selfish reason, because that's coming up in the fourth, when we talk about the fourth toxicity. So, a free radical, free radical damage, or oxidation, antioxidants are anti against oxidative injury oxidation. So, antioxidants are opposite of oxidation. So, it's oxidation that's bad, which causes free radical damage. So, what exactly is that? I want you to remember this, and you're never going to forget this, okay? You take an apple, you cut it in half. In three minutes or five minutes, it starts turning brown. That is oxidative stress. That is free radical damage. A banana starts turning brown. That is oxidative stress. It is the rusting process. The chemical explanation is here we have an atom. An atom has an electron or electrons that are flying around it. It has a proton in the center, which is positive charge. The electron is negative charge. And then also has neutrons in the center, which is neutral. So when an atom has a net, Neutral charge, i.e. the same number of electrons as it has positive uh, protons. So let's say it's 17 electrons and it has 17 protons. It would be net neutral charge. It's a normal atom. As soon as that atom loses an electron, which is what you were trying to explain, if it loses an electron, it now has a net positive charge, right? So now its goal is to pull an electron from a surrounding atom. It is now, by definition, a free radical because it's trying to pull an electron from somewhere else. So that graphically is that apple turning brown, the banana turning brown, that rusting process that's going on. It is dependent upon oxygen. Oxygen is necessary for life, but oxygen also causes the rusting process. Causes, that's why we call it oxidative stress or oxygen. Antioxidant, oxygen, if that's where the word's coming from. So oxygen is a double-edged sword. It, you can't live without it, can't live with it. It's kind of like women, you know, you can't live without them, you can't live with them, right? Okay, no, I'm just kidding. That's, that's, that was a terrible analogy, okay. But you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with us. So it's weird men, you're right? Okay. I actually had uh, one of my patients tell me once, um, she had hormonal issues, we got her balance, and she said, Dr. Tar, you understand women so well. And I thought, you know what, you need to tell my ex-wife that. <laughs> but anyway, 
So oxidative stress is basically where something is creating a net positive charge in the atoms causing this free radical cascade to start. And when you have one atom that's lost its um, net neutral charge, cause, created a positive charge, and it pulls from another one, it creates like a domino effect. Okay? So these seven toxicities, they cause an increase in oxidative stress. They cause an increase in oxidative stress. The thing that I want you to remember is that the most, most potent form of antioxidants, what do you think that is? The most potent antioxidant. What is the most potent oxidative stress? What is the most potent source of oxidative stress? Obviously metals and all these things that I talked about. Stress in general. Wow, that was good. 